All right, so one of the sweet three generals is down, but it took Luffy basically being pushed to his limits in a way we've never seen before. So how, how are the next two gonna be? But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bustin. Do you hear wedding bells? Because I do. They're just, they're very strange wedding bells. We're headed for the ceremony here in Whole Cake Island with, I think Sanji and Judge are supposed to have like lunch with Big Mom and Pudding. It's gonna be really uncomfortable lunch, most likely. And then yeah, Chopper and Karen are still stuck in Mirror World. So there's a lot kind of going on here. Not to even mention Pedro and Brooke kind of sneaking around. Gonna hop into these. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub. Let's get started. Everything else aside, Whole Cake would be a great place to live. Oh. Oh. What? She has a shard! Brooke's team. Yeah, absolutely no idea. Is anybody gonna ask about Jimbei? They don't even know Jimbei's here, but you know what I mean. Or do they? Are they just still running from brulee? <laughs> I thought it was gonna swap the brulee. They're just going to the castle. All right. Oh my, oh my God, they're dead. It was already a shard. How does it breaking into more pieces turn into a normal mirror? The logistics of these mirrors don't make sense. I thought she was gonna like reach behind them. What? Is that a, is that a person? Wait, it's the, it's the rabbit and in, in, uh, what he I forgot the, the, his name and what he rides on. Oh wait, what is that? Yeah, it is him. Oh, she's just calling in reinforcements. Dude, they are so boned. It's insane. Advantage of that power? What power? Like the mirror power? Listen, Saji, I know you don't like your family. Vin Smoke is way too cool of a last name to not just go around parading because I definitely would, even if my dad was a dick. Kind of sucks Capone works for Big Mom because I did, I did kind of like him. I can't root for him though. Now I can't. Okay, so we're seeing Luffy fight Cracker again. Okay, so Toei, this happened five episodes ago. Four, three, maybe. I love when the art style gets like those really harsh lines. It only does it every now and then, but it exaggerates the moment very well. He's deflating! Uh, wow, that way that was an insanely fast process. Like, where does it all go? He's not like just shitting himself, right? There they are. Oh my gosh! The carriage! Um, oh. Well, Luffy locked in. So what? We're just gonna walk up and be like, hey, Judge, listen, I'm his captain. He's gotta come back with me. He's still just booking it towards them. Oh my god. No, this is not out of character. I was about to get angry. I know how he is. Again, like I said, he doesn't even know that they're here. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Judge isn't even moving. Sanji's not looking at him. Was that Sanji? Oh my goodness. Oh, he's probably so pissed that they came. They're endangering themselves. <gasps> he said exactly what Cracker said! He's locking into his role. Wait, this is so Robin vibes. He has to fully commit to protect them. But he knows that, that Luffy wouldn't turn around, bro. He knows Luffy too well. I forgot. <gasps> Forgot your name is crazy. Shut up, Yaji! Ah? I mean, he would never hurt Nami. Is he gonna? What do you mean? Didn't we just get an eye catcher? Have I lost the plot? Wait, what the? F wait, wait, this show's crazy. Why are there two eye catchers? What's happening? I thought it was insane. No, there was another one. What? What the hell was that? I hope that rat's doing well. 
I said I don't like Judge's voice, but if he sounded cool, I would like respect him a little too much. I gotta hate him. And I hate him because of his voice too, because it doesn't match. I'm glad I don't like his voice. Dog, how old is Sanji at this point? Bro, when I was that age, I don't know if I could have made like a sandwich by myself, let alone run away. See, this exact moment is why I feel like Reiju still uh, has a very, very soft spot for him, despite putting up this hard front cover. Even though she's like, oh, you made your choice. You came back. It's your fault for anything that happens now. Nah, it's it's all up front. One million percent. I think that's why she was so curious about the show has in the first place. All oh, this is when he got on the ship. Oh, shoot. Even more backstory. Were they not concerned that they were like kidnapping a kid? That's all he's thinking about. Wait, did they keep going? Or is this before? Am, okay, no, wait, I'm actually tripping on a stack. Is that the third eye catcher? I'm actually tripping on 50 stacks. That's the third fucking eye catcher. What is happening to way? What is this? <laughs> that is insane. That is insane. Were there three commercial breaks in this episode? What the fuck? <laughs> it feels like they're messing with me now no this is before still i think he was just thinking about that right before luffy got there so it shows how much it's taking for him to put up this front to to luffy oh he told them about the all blue these random cooks had no idea they had the son of like a famous assassin family on their ship i really do wonder when we'll find the all blue like will it be like part of the last episode of one piece he has such a tangible goal compared to others like I don't know, Zoro wants to be the greatest horseman. I guess that's like defeating Mihawk And that's when Zeph showed up Bro, you kicked the can. Yeah, what would have happened if the, the ship hadn't like crashed and they would have ended up together I mean, he took mercy on him because of the all blue, like he just said there, but oh, things could have been so different. Because Sanji, we saw in the last one, is the way he is today because of Zeph, because of how Zeph raised him as a father. I'm not even referring to Judge as, as Sanji's father anymore. Zeph is Sanji's father. Oh, we're getting to the backstory again. This just makes me think of how gas it's going to be when I think Netflix is like remastering One Piece, because this is basically like remastered backstory. <laughs> Although there will always be a sort of a flair to old One Piece, the black bars and everything. Soft place in my heart. Dude, imagine though, if Zeph ever reunites with Sanji and they find the all blue together. Because that's why he wanted him to go in the first place, to find it. Yeah, because they had the same dream. Imagine. I just can't imagine a responsible at Oda's shoulders. Like, you have so many ways that things could go in the end. Uh, just... Oh, yeah, and then this is what we said, because they wanted a woman cook. They wanted any any woman on board. All boys were down bad. Hey, Patty and Carne can be there, too. Invite them along. Maybe he tells Baratier where the All Blue is, and they sail there. And then that's, like, the permanent location of Baratier is the All Blue. I've got it all figured out, baby. Don't worry, Oda. Just PayPal me for credit. That'd be gas pack. Saying I'll cut my I'll cut your dick off and then cut my head off is just so unhinged. I appreciate the crash out. What the f I'm sorry, is it, what is happening in this show? No to be continued? Have I lost the entire plot? Wait, since when is there no to be continued? Toei, you've lost it on this one! 808, I guess! <laughs> The craziest part is Judge has no idea who Zeph is. Freaking what's his name? Baron just told him to hold it and was like, yeah, just mess with him with this. He's such a fraud. We're in a lot of flashbacks with Zeph. Nothing better happened to this man. We're going to have a problem. <laughs> okay, so there is no title card. All right. How it should be. So he was thinking about literally all of that right before. So it shows how much more control it took for him to just brush Luffy off. And how much he freaked out seeing him. Ah, uh, so we're seeing from his POV now. I'm glad. And how panicked he was seeing him. He probably made the decision instantly. Like, what do I have to do to protect him the most right now? <laughs> of course. Even the, uh, the oldest or Ichiji. Oh, Reiju's smiling, because she's already met them. Huh? <laughs> oh. 
Luffy has no idea the situation he's in now. It's way worse, infinitely worse. Yeah, who knows where they are, brother? His hands, Zeph's life. Oh my gosh. It's like a panic attack. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's like blurring out. Oh. Get a lock in. Damn. Oh my gosh. He knew he had to lock in. <clears throat> Dude. Oh my god, bro. Okay, well, he's not lying. I think he genuinely thinks she's beautiful. But she is. This is so, like I said, such like a Robin moment. Say I forgot your name is even crazier, though. Luffy finna fight like the whole family. No, but Sanji, that's the last thing Sanji wants is for Luffy to fight anyone. See, he knows what he's up against. Luffy cannot take on the entire Vin Smoke family. Okay, I'm having like PTSD from eye catchers now from the last episode, bro. I'm not gonna lie. How many more will there be in this one? Got him saying Zoro and like them going to Wano. I miss those guys. I hope we get like a check in soon. Oh, wow. The clouds. I like how Ichiji always seems stoic. He has to put on a show. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <gasps> but Luffy knows that's not true. What he's saying. Maybe he's playing into it. Oh no. He knows a fate by his hand is much better than a fate by any of the other's hands because they would actually kill Luffy. Because we know how how conflicted he is in his own head because of right before this. Oh no, nah, bro. Oh my god! What was that effect? He cracked his skull? Oh shit. Bro, this feels like like Luffy and Usopp like times 20 from a uh, water seven. Actually. Oh my God, his tooth fell out. He lost a tooth. He hit him with everything he had. Holy shit. Oh my God. Oh no, nah, bro. A second eye catcher to him. What are you doing? Oh my God. This is a new trend. He's not, is he going to hit back? He said, I'm going to fight you. He's going to take it. He's going to take it again. He's going to let Sanji beat the shit out of him. He's going to fall over. There's no winning here though. He has to go. Or they all just fight their way out. He's already so injured. I didn't think about that. How battered he is from his fight with Cracker. A duel. This is like, oh, shit. he's not hitting back. It's not a duel. He's just going to keep letting him hit him, but he's going to call it a duel. Why? Why? Oh, my God. He won't leave. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna actually kill Luffy. If Luffy falls, the point is lost. And he's still standing! Bro, I, I feel bad for Nami. Like she can't even interrupt because I, I don't think Luffy would even want her to to because it's a duel. She just has to sit here and, and watch whatever happens. Toei, Toei, you're trolling me, Toei. This is the second episode in a row with three eye catchers? Is this a joke? Oh, no. Nah. Wait! He actually didn't land on his feet! Oh, shit. He won! He's begging inside of his mind to Luffy to tell him to just leave, to go away. He's begging. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is he doing? 
going? Why is he getting leverage? Why is he getting air? Oh my god, bro. I can't watch! He wants to hear from Luffy. He has to. But he, like, a part of him knows that Luffy won't say okay. What is this move? Ah! Oh my god, how is he still like, just taking it? Oh. Oh. oh shit. Oh my god. Oh, don't say anything. Just don't say anything. Don't say anything. Oh. Oh shit. Sayonara. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, Yanji. Oh my god. Ties have been severed. That's exactly what Sanji wanted Judge to see, though. Oh my god, he actually knocked him out. He's awake! Oh my god, he's gonna say something. Oh no. Oh no. He's begging him not to. There's laughing at him. This is fucked, man. This is so fucked. <laughs> oh my god, Baratie. Is this now? Is this now? Is this right now or is this a flashback? Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is fucked. Uh, after that, you show me everything they've been through. Oh my god. What I needed right now was a Foxy Pirates flashback, a Davy Back flashback. Holy shit. Him standing up to Kuma. I miss the whole group being together so much, man. <laughs> this show is so fucked, man. <laughs> I'm so tired of crying over this shit, bro. Oh, I'm so tired of it. <laughs> it literally turned into like Usopp uh, Luffy, like part two. Like, like worse, uh, actually worse. Uh, just I, I, it always hurts like infinitely more so, like, seeing them cry, seeing Sanji like try to hold back tears as they leave. That's what makes it so much worse. It's like exaggerates how crushed he is on the inside while he puts up this hard exterior. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a, what a beautiful episode. I didn't realize that was like 25 minutes. That was like way longer. No wonder there's like more eye catchers. What the hell? I mean, the episode also started way sooner than other ones but oh my gosh he i i genuinely believe what luffy says though like he'll just stay like right there he's not moving he's not coming after him but he's not leaving because he's not he can't be king of the pirates without sanji that's that that makes means so much more his journey cannot continue with the without this cook that he has chosen as part of his crew because luffy's journey is also sanji's journey they're all one together oh my gosh man that was rough that was so rough <laughs> Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction because I didn't. Make sure you drop a like, drop a sub, drop a comment. Uh, just give me like a heart or something. I need it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace, peace.